In this lesson, we will take many of the basic HTML tags and use them as CSS element selectors to upgrade their style. In CSS, the HTML tags are called elements. First, we start with the body tag element. When you first set up your main CSS file, you typically want to establish the basics for your entire page. These can include background color, background image, default font size, color, and font family. All of these can be handled in the body element, for example, body, background color, linen, background image, URL, pics, slash tree.jpg, font family, Vera, Arial, Helvetica, sans serif, font size, 15px, color, pound sign, 24425c. We've already seen a little about CSS syntax, for example, H1, color, blue. Each CSS style starts with a selector and is followed by one or more declarations within open and close braces, each declaration being a property value pair. Element selectors select all HTML tags of the same name, for instance, the P tag, P, text align, center, color, red. For example, open paragraph tag. All paragraphs with only the P tag are centered in red. This is a demonstration of how the element selector works. Close P tag. The ID selector uses the ID attribute as an HTML element to select that specific element ID as a unique identifier. On any one page, there can only be one of that ID. Also, the ID name cannot start with a numeral. For example, pound sign, first underscore heading, color, red. And the HTML which uses this, open angle bracket, H1, ID equals first underscore heading, close angle bracket. This is the first heading on the page, close H1 tag. The class selector selects all elements with a specific class attribute. For example, dot, quote, open brace, border style, solid, border width, 1px, border color, pound sign, 880000, padding, 5px, font size, 18px, font style, italic, close brace. Here we see a class called, quote, which uses larger type, italics, and a dark red border, Next is the HTML which uses that class. Open angle bracket, P, class equals, quote, there are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio, than are dreamt of in your philosophy. Close paragraph tag. A class can be restricted to only one element type, for example, P dot first, text hyphen indent, zero PX. This can be helpful if all other paragraphs are given an indent. The first paragraph after a heading can be made flush left. We can also use more than one class at a time. For example, open angle bracket P class equals quote first space quote end quote close angle bracket quote Houston we have a problem end quote close P tag. We've already seen how selectors which share property values can be grouped h1, comma, h2, comma, h3, open brace, color, steel blue, semicolon, close brace. In the earlier lesson on the head section, we learned how to link to an external style sheet, a file with sets of selectors and declarations. For internal CSS, we had the same selector declaration combinations, but set within open and close style tags. For example, open head tag, open style tag, body, open brace, background hyphen color, colon, dark slate blue, semicolon, close brace, close style tag, close head tag. And for inline CSS, you have the same selector declaration combinations within a style attribute. For example, open angle bracket, P style equals, quote, text hyphen indent, colon, 50px, semicolon, color, colon, steel blue, semicolon, close quote, close angle bracket. 
This is important text, period. Close p-tag. Multiple styles cascade into one. CSS statements have a sequence of priority. The lowest priority of style is the browser defaults. Next are the external and internal style sheets in the head section. Sequence matters. If you link to your external style sheet after the internal style declarations, the external CSS takes priority over the internal. Finally, the inline style declarations take the highest priority. For all style information that uses the same selectors, the highest priority replaces the lower priorities. For example, external, P, open brace, color, colon, blue, semicolon, text hyphen indent, colon, 30px, semicolon, close brace. Internal, P, open brace, color, colon, green, semicolon, close brace. And in line, P, open brace, color, colon, red, semicolon, close brace. The final style turns out to be P, open brace, color, colon, red, semicolon, text hyphen indent, colon, 30px, semicolon, close brace. The following properties control the background of HTML elements. Background hyphen color. Background hyphen image. Background hyphen repeat. Background hyphen attachment. Background hyphen position. Example. Body. Open brace. Background hyphen color. Colon. Blue. Semicolon. Close brace. As we've already learned, colors can be specified as hex like pound sign 00FFFF, has RGB, like RGB, open parentheses, 0, 255, 255, close parentheses, or by name, like aqua. We will learn more about colors and the new CSS3 color specifications in a later lesson. The default behavior of a background image is to repeat the image both vertically and horizontally, in order to fill the entire background of the element with the selected picture. For example, body, open brace, background hyphen image, colon, URL, open parenthesis, open quote, pics, slash, sandbaked dot gif, close quote, close parenthesis, semicolon, close brace. Repeating in both X and Y directions is the default background hyphen repeat, repeat hyphen x, background hyphen repeat, repeat hyphen y, background hyphen repeat, no hyphen repeat. You can repeat the image in the horizontal x direction, the vertical y direction, or turn off the repeat altogether, but be kind to your visitors. If you have text over your background, make sure the background image does not disturb the readability of the text. With no repeat, the background image can be set to a named position, like left top or right bottom. For example, background hyphen position, colon, right, space, top, semicolon. The background attachment property controls the position of the background image as you scroll down the page. Scroll is the default. Fixed keeps the image stationary. For example, background hyphen attachment colon fixed semicolon CSS allows background shorthand versions to make your code more compact and simple for example body open brace background colon pound sign FF 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 URL open parentheses open quote sunset dot JPG close quote close parentheses no hyphen repeat, space, right, space, top, semicolon, close brace. The sequence for background shorthand values are background hyphen color, background hyphen image, background hyphen repeat, background hyphen attachment, and background hyphen position. You can add multiple background images to one element in the current version of CSS, CSS3. For example, background hyphen image colon URL open parenthesis IMG underscore flower dot gif 
close parenthesis, comma, URL, paper.gif, close parenthesis, semicolon. The first image is the one closest to the viewer. You can also add positions for each image. The sequence of values in the other background properties matches the sequence of pictures in the image property. Background hyphen position, right bottom, comma, left top, semicolon. Background hyphen repeat, colon, no hyphen repeat, comma, repeat, semicolon. Background hyphen size, colon, 100px, space, 80px, semicolon. The background hyphen size property can have a numeric value like 120px, or it can have either the word contain or cover. With background hyphen size, contain, the image is scaled, but some of the background may not be covered by the image. With background hyphen size cover, the image is scaled to cover all the background, but some of the image may not be visible. Text properties can be applied to any HTML tag which can contain text. The key properties are color, text hyphen align, text hyphen decoration, text hyphen transform, text hyphen indent, letter hyphen spacing, line hyphen height, text hyphen shadow, and word hyphen spacing. Color is the text color. For example, color colon blue semicolon. Text Align positions the text within a paragraph to be flush left, flush right, centered, or justified. This last term refers to flush left and right for most of the lines of the paragraph. Typically the last line is flush left in a justified block of text. This is similar to the text found in most professional magazines. For example, text hyphen align colon justified semicolon. Text decoration usually refers to the underlining of links. Some designers eliminate the underline with the none value. Other possible values include underline, overline, which is a line above the text, and line through, which is a strike through. Text transform controls the case of the letters. Values include none, renders text exactly as is, and this is the default, capitalize, which capitalizes the first letter of each word, uppercase, all characters to uppercase, lowercase, all characters to lowercase. Text indent controls the first line starting position of a block of text. Values can be a specific numeric length in one of a number of units of measure, pixels, points, centimeters, m's, etc. The default is zero. Values can also be expressed as a percentage of the parent element's width, default 0%. Letter spacing controls the space between characters. Normal is the default and adds no extra space. A length in pixels can define extra space, but negative values are also possible to tighten up the spacing of characters in a word. Examples, dot tight to, open brace, letter hyphen spacing colon minus 2px semicolon close brace dot air 5 open brace letter hyphen spacing colon 5px semicolon close brace and here is the HTML which uses both of those classes open angle bracket p class equals quote type 2 close quote close angle bracket the words in this paragraph are tightened up by two points per character period, close p tag, open angle bracket, p class equals, quote, air 5, close quote, close angle bracket. The words in this paragraph are loosened by five points per character, period, close p tag. Line height defines the vertical spacing between lines within a block of text. Normal is the default, 100%. A number used is multiplied by the current font size to set the line height. 1.0 equals normal. A length is a fixed line height in a specified number of units, pixels, points, centimeters, etc. A percent is a line height relative to the current point size. Examples, line hyphen height colon 11px semicolon, 
line hyphen height colon one point one semicolon line hyphen height colon one hundred and ten percent semicolon word spacing increases or decreases the white space between words negative values are allowed normal is default a length defines space in pixels points centimeters m's etc negative values are allowed css3 justified text in css3 the property text hyphen justify can have one of three key values auto enter hyphen word distribute auto the browser determines how to achieve text justification enter hyphen word only the space between words is adjusted distribute spacing between words and letters is adjusted and now for your action item open up your main.css file before the body element CSS style add a comment to help mark the regions of your CSS file this will help to keep things organized containers end containers and block in the text region of your CSS file text end text and add another region for miscellaneous naturally you can change any CSS to suit your design needs as you develop your website change the body element font size to 15 px if we did not include a font size the default would be 16 px add a p selector to your text section with the following declarations p open brace text hyphen indent colon 30 px semicolon next add a class to the p selector p dot first open brace text hyphen indent colon 0 px semicolon next grab a public domain clip art image of a tree return to your root folder then create a folder next to your css folder named pics unzip the image and copy the medium size picture to your desktop then move the picture to the pics folder in the containers section of your css file add to the body element background hyphen image colon url open parenthesis open quote dot dot slash pics slash and then to make it easy on us let's copy the name of the file paste it in semicolon background hyphen repeat colon no repeat semicolon background hyphen position colon right top semicolon okay let's open the file in paint.net and change the orientation image flip horizontal save I change the orientation of the picture using paint.net so that the trees are leaning to the right add to the text section dot add head open brace font hyphen size colon 10 px text hyphen align colon center color colon saddle brown letter hyphen spacing colon 5px text hyphen transform colon uppercase save your CSS file frequently when I'm developing the design of a new website I keep the CSS file open to make adjustments to the design as I test the output open your template.html file and make the following changes and additions after the last main section paragraph add the following open angle bracket p class equals quote add head close quote close angle bracket advertisement close p tag open angle bracket p class equals quote first close quote close angle bracket an advertisement will go here comma hopefully generating revenue for the website period close p tag save the file and open in your browser In the next lesson, we talk about fonts, tables, and links.